Howdy there, friends. Welcome back to another Ramadi Redstone tutorial. I am your host, Ramadi. And today, um, I am going to respond to a few video or a, a few comments that I've actually gotten, um, mostly because I appreciate those comments very much. I'm very honored that people would see me fit to take the time and watch my videos and then actually comment on them. Um, so what we're going to do today is a little bit of Redstone Basics. And... Um, yeah, I've had multiple people ask me for these. Um, there are a few assumptions I'm going to make. I'm going to assume you have actually played Minecraft before. And I'm going to assume that you know the basic redstone items, at least in name. Um, the torch, the repeater, um, redstone dust, block of redstone, piston, sticky piston, um, and then my very favorite redstone tool of all time, lime green wool. Um, so... Yeah, we're just going to get into it. Uh, I'm not going to dilly-dally around a whole lot. Um, the redstone torch was um, kind of the fundamental, at least in terms of giving power. Redstone is um, Minecraft's version of electricity. Um, the redstone dust right here is the stuff you mine. Combine it with a stick and you get a torch, just like that. And now if you hook up your dust to a torch, it will now turn on. Um, however, dust has got a, or um, redstone signal, sorry, has got a maximum distance it will actually carry, and that is 15 blocks. So if we go out here and now try to put a piece of redstone down there, it will not carry our signal. It won't continue. So it will only go 15 blocks. This is not in every direction. It's not linear. It's just 15 blocks, period. That's how far it will travel. And that's why we have this little contraption here called the redstone repeater. Um, a repeater allows signal to then carry out for another 15 blocks. Um, so that's how you get signals to travel for a very long um, distance is using repeaters. Now, um, repeaters themselves have got some very, very fun properties. Uh, you make a repeater with two torches, a piece of redstone, and some uh, smooth stone on the bottom. And you can see these two torches right here. What we can actually use a, a repeater to do um, is to add delay to a signal. Uh, you know, if we want to make something wait, then we use repeaters to delay it. Um, so it's not only something that will then carry out um, signal, it will also delay the signal if we want it to. Each repeater itself has what we call in Minecraft a four tick of delay potential. So this in here is just one tick delay. Anytime you use a repeater, you're natively going to add 1 20th of a second delay to your um, system. So there's two tick, three tick, and then four ticks of delay. And we'll just build a nice little um, circuit here real fast using only repeaters. We're then going to link them all up using some redstone. Not to that torch, though. And now, like I said, my very favorite of all time is the lime green wool. You see this used in redstone a lot, and I will tell you why. If we throw um, a lever, or in the U.S., a lever, <coughs> onto the uh, circuit here and then turn it on, you'll watch the redstone uh, repeaters light up in a pattern. And that's because the ones at the back are adding delay. So this line here in front will light very quickly. That line on the back is going to wait for about a fifth of a second. There it goes. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty simple right there. You also have the option of buttons. And actually, while I'm over here, we will talk about buttons real quick, as boring as that is. You have two buttons. You have a wooden button, and then you have a stone button. And they are not equal. A wooden button is actually going to stay depressed for longer than a stone button will. It's very slight. Uh, a stone button stays depressed for six ticks, whereas a wooden button is going to go ahead and stay down for eight ticks. So yeah, there you go. Fun little tidbit that uh, everybody knew, I'm sure, and is so useful. Um, we are going to come over here then, and we're going to talk about the next application, which is pistons. And everybody loves pistons uh, because they allow you to move a block around. And using these in creative ways um, is very, very fun. In this model here, I have combined it with a new edition of 1.5, the redstone block. This is very similar to what a redstone torch does in that it is constantly emitting signal. So if we push it into these repeaters, they are now going to turn on and off. Um, 
Obviously, sticky pistons are not the only kind of piston. There is also ye old regular piston right there. There you go. Uh, and this one is just going to continue to push blocks, and I'm actually going to show you a neat little application um, for those here in just a moment. We're not, in this episode, I don't think we're going to get into anything um, like uh, logic gates and bud switches. You know, those will be for a couple later episodes. Um, what I do want to talk about is this little piston clock. And I want to talk about this because it demonstrates a lot of um, properties of each of these different items that we have used so far today. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to make this smaller using the new redstone block over here. Now, I will tell you that these piston clocks um, have been outdated a little bit by hoppers. Uh, and we are not going to talk about hoppers in this episode. We're going to reserve those solely for their own episode because they have got many, many, many different uses. Um, but this piston clock is a very fundamental thing in Minecraft. And when I say clock, this is what I mean. Simply adding a block like that is going to turn this um, into something that's going to continually run at a very dependable rate. Um, you can also call it a... Um, motor. I have used motors like this to run elevators. Um, there's also some fun properties of pistons that we can go ahead and use to our advantage. But yeah, that's just a four tick piston clock. Real, real easy. And uh, enough said. We're done with that. So we're going to go ahead and build this thing. Um, so the first thing that we are going to need, if I don't throw it out of my inventory, is going to be a sticky piston right there. And then uh, all you really need then is a hole in the ground. You're going to add this in um, for effect here. Later on, I'll tell you why. And then we want a little piece of redstone right here. Now, a property of a torch is that it will power a block directly above it. So that torch right here is now giving power to this block. And that block is now, in turn, um, going to turn that redstone on. And that's kind of the idea behind most of the motor here. Um, now, if I was to put a piece of redstone here, then this is not going to power that piston. Uh, in fact, in some cases, it can interfere with that piston's power. What we're actually powering is this block diagonal right here, and that's why it's not going to power that piston. Um, what we want is a repeater, just like that. We need to add some delay to it, um, otherwise the piston gets going too fast and breaks itself. And then we actually need to power this part of the piston right here, and we do that with a little bit of redstone on top of a block. So this block is now actually powering the base of the piston, and, and that's what we're interested in. So there we are done. We can now run our motor. And now, um, before the advent of redstone blocks, what you actually had to do was put another torch here, and then either a repeater or dust or whatever you wanted. And now this is a way to send a amount of signal out in a very dependable at timing. So there you go. You can even measure how long um, that signal is right there. It's going to be precisely four ticks, shockingly enough. If we go ahead and move this like that, see it breaks our clock. So that's why we need this. Now, these torches are actually no longer necessary. We can now just stick a piece of redstone, and we get the same effect. And now, in order to have our reed stick that t uh, repeater just where it was, there and done. So we've made things smaller, you know, with these redstone blocks. So we'll go ahead and break that. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, really, I think, some basics here for now. Um, we are, I think, as we go through these things, there are a lot of um, logic gates. The very first logic gate that I ever learned is this guy right here. Obviously, it is out of date. You're going to see this in cringe a little bit. Um, this is what's known as an RS NOR latch. It is simply a memory gate. And if I break that here, now it inverts and it's going to hold your state. So this allows you to do many, many, many things. Many, many, many things. And there are multiple ways of building this NOR latch. This is not the most efficient or you know, anything special like that. Um, you know, we're already here, so let's go ahead and talk about it for a moment. You do not have to have repeaters into those. I just uh, happen to have them handy. We're going to stick blocks behind the repeaters, and then we're going to go ahead and add a button. So in essence, what we've done here 
um, is we have made a lever. Pretty simple. And that's a lot bigger than a lever. But you don't always want to have something very obvious like that. Sometimes you just want to use a button. Um, when you send a signal into a torch, it is going to invert that torch. So using this little NOR latch, which holds state, we can now shift these things back and forth, on and off, by feeding power into one side or the other. And in this way, we can use buttons now like we would use a lever. Um, and there are, of course, bigger applications for NOR latches. They can do things behind the scenes without needing us, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you know, I think that's probably enough for today. Here are, like I said, some very basic ideas, um, at least in terms of redstone. We are going to talk more about these NOR latches. Uh, we're going to talk about AND gates, OR gates, XOR gates, um, lots and lots of things like that. It's pretty fun. Um, and then later on, you know, we are going to get into engines, motors, um, things that go boom. And... Um, the not really the pinnacle or the penultimate I mean redstone I think is is kind of a game within a game um, it's really fun to use these things creatively of course lots of people like piston doors and I can certainly see why um, but there are you know numerous other things that we can go ahead and do um, with redstone it's not useful only for doors so uh, yeah so I think that'll do it we will call this volume one and um, volume two I think will be um, different gates and latches that we can build. So I'll see you there.